Well, shiver me timbers, I be Captain Blitzbeard. Welcome back to another raft build. Now, we've gotten a lot of comments in the past that I should make a pirate ship. So today, we're gonna make the Black Pearl. So you know how this goes, we need to spawn in a whole buttload of items, and then I start creating things. So I think I wanna do it like this solid foundation because this thing looks a lot better than the herpy derpy gross thing here. And I'm thinking since it is a ship, we probably want it symmetric, so five wide. So we also know that the Black Pearl is a galleon based on the East Indian Trading Company, so we can kind of use that as reference as well. I want to start working on the bow up front first, so we can get a good idea of how long this thing is going to be. If you will go in the proper... there, Oh, right, there, got it, nice. And then we'll just pop in one of these roofs, and that'll be the first start of it. Also, there's a shark biting my raft. Would you stop that? Jack Sparrow isn't here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. I'll just replace that and pretend like it didn't happen. Would you, would you not do that, please? I'm up here flying. Where'd your eyes go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> kind of adorable. And now you just broke something that was important to me. Makes me sad inside of my life. Thankfully, I can fix it easily. And then I'll just fortify the entire ship so the shark doesn't eat it again. All right, so I like how this area is turned out, but that front is just not having it. No, nope, like it, so I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna try putting in another floor piece right here. And of course I'll fortify that and then start working around it again. Put that there, that there, that there. It might still be the same problem I just had. Oh look, little turtles have arrived. Nice of them. Uh, also I've been working on the bow and I can't come up with something good here. It's a little bit more challenging than I expected it to be, but I will get something eventually. Almost thinking it's too narrow being the biggest problem, so I think I'm gonna yoink a few of these away. And then of course, slap some more sides onto it and watch the stupid shark eat another piece of wood because I totally forgot to add supports to that. But that's okay, he was a hungry boy, so I'll just put that in there and then reinforce everything again. But no, that wasn't the right answer. The answer is making it symmetric, but not an odd number. We need an even number up in here. That way in the front, I think I should be able to put in two of these like so, and then I can work the ship around it. It's gonna look a little weird to begin with, but I think it'll turn out nicely, and I'm also dying of lack of water poisoning. Yes, finally we have a point on the ship that looks nice. And of course, Dingus here wants to eat my brand new point. Did you not do that, Dingus? I hate you. You're just destroying everything. I go for four seconds and uh, you just destroy it, everything that I nice I make in the world. Yeah, it looks better. Let's make it daytime again. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we have a good thank you, shark. Fine, you just have to be a jerk like this. Oh, that's why I was clipped out of my body. But no, now that we have a basic shark improved boat that actually could work as a pirate ship, I think we should work on the edges. Now we're gonna absolutely need some cannon ports in here. So we do have two options for the windows. We can put them like this up tall, or we can do like this with uh, that on them. I think they kind of look the same, but I kind of want to go with this look. But I think I'm going to do a combination of both of them. Let's put in some regular walls, and I'm going to do every other one. Now, if we look at a picture of the Black Pearl, it had eight cannon turrets on the side. One, two, three, four, five, anchor, six, seven, and number eight. That's gonna be a big old ship, isn't it? So on the back of this majestic beast, there was like, uh, well, a, a rudder sort of thing. And I felt like we could put doors back there as the only access point to the boat. So if I just remove these, that actually looks pretty authentic to the movie. Next, I'll slap on the first floor. You know what? That doesn't look so bad at all. Kind of like that actually. So maybe we should stagger these ports on the second floor. It could be good. If we put up a wall right here like such as, and then the next one we'll put up this. So every other one, they're they're staggered back and forth. Not like that, like this, just right to thank you. So I've been building a little bit more while I was eating my pizza over lunchtime. And I know some of you weirdos would have liked hearing me eat the pizza, but no, that's not this kind of channel, but that looks kind of good. I also realized that the front of this ship looks nothing like this image of the Black Pearl itself, so we're gonna have to redo this for like a seventh time. But I also really like those wooden railings on the side. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of contemplating removing this for the wooden railing, and I think that might look better. We wouldn't any want any pirates to fall off the edge of the poop deck, would we? Let's be real, it's a pirate ship. 
video. We have to make a poop deck joke somewhere in there. Goodbye, friend of the boat. We didn't need you because you were ugly. And now it's time to remake this thing yet again. Now, this is a weird front. I didn't realize that the galleon was like a little bowl with this weird figurehead thing in front. So we're going to try to build one of the figureheads and then see what we can do with the rest of this. I'm thinking if we uh, do a little bit of this right here, mm -hmm, it's going to be okay. No, no, flip the other way. Good job. Proud of you. And then we can do that. Uh, and it does come up a little bit below the front deck, so that's probably good. I was thinking to myself, I said, self, what would happen if I did a little something, something like this, and then we'll bring out another one, like such as, go forward, cool, not like that. And then of course the stupid shark bites it immediately. You stupid shark, I hate you and everything. Fine, I'm gonna armor that so you can't bite it now. Ha ha, jerk, go away. But we should be able to like make a little mixture here and it should work. Oh, this is gonna be really annoying to fill up because we have to alternate literally every one. We go back and forth, then back and forth, then back and forth and back and forth until everything is created. Then we'll put some floor on the tippity top, like such as, and then we'll connect it to the front somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Not gonna lie, a little bit difficult. There's also a lot of rigging and stuff that connects the front here to the back, and I'm not the best surest on how to do that. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just make it up with some of these. I mean, that could look all right. I also think I just used the words best surest. It doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. A lot of people just make fun of me because I say things wrong, but they don't know that words weren't my first language. So it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta words the right words when you words. You know what? That actually turned out pretty good. I kind of like the way that looks, mostly. I don't like these corners. So let's rip these out very quickly. We'll put a new support in that corner and then we're gonna switch this to be an angled. Yeah, that's much, much better. We'll flop that in the top, and that should be good to mirror over here. Well, if that isn't annoying, I forgot that uh, we're doing the even mode, not odd, so there is no center of the ship. So we might as well put two doors in the front. Cool. Now let's reconnect this to the fronty front of the front. Reset the time back to 7 a.m., and that's pretty solid right there. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Like, I mean, as close to the Black Pearl as you can get without being actually black and being in raft. I like that so far. Let's keep going. Now, the next thing to go with is some sails. I'm gonna spawn in like 15 of them. This is gonna be actually pretty difficult because I mean, let's be honest, these things are kind of tiny and they don't exactly stack on top of each other. So we're gonna need to build some sort of a support column here. Maybe, come on, come on game. Hey, hey game, there's one. All right, one right there, sure. Hey game, game, there you go. And I don't think this will work, but we're gonna attempt it anyway. If I connect those two, can I put a sail on top of that bar? If I can, this will be fantastic. If I can't, I totally figured it wouldn't be possible. So we'll just put down a couple of the flooring pieces right on the back side of this. And then we can slap in another sail right on top. Now the question is, is this actually gonna look good? Maybe might look good. The other question is, do we need to put like three down? I think we might actually. And it may be easier if I leave no clip mode to be my beautiful self again. Uh, I also don't have stairway in here. Ah, shoot. That's okay. We'll just rip a hole in the ceiling and try to jump our way. I can't even rip a hole in the ceiling and jump out. So I'll go walk the plank like a scurvy dog. Arr, matey. All right, we have three sails down. That looks pretty good. We're gonna have to do two sails on the top of this one. And then that one up top will be good too. I do want to place in this here and there. Come on, why'd you have to go backwards game? It's like the most annoying thing. You're putting things down in a row and it's like, nah, I'm gonna make this one backwards today. And then we can rotate this. We can, I said we can rotate. Can I rotate? I would like to rotate, can I rotate? Thank you. Rotate that forward. Like so, nice, ow. And now let's see if I can get magical, magical, magical things in here. They're not magical right now. So I would like to put this down between this sail and that sail, about right in here somewhere. Please, please, please game. Please, please, please game. Make it green, can you make it green now? Goodbye sail on the top. Oh, you're still there. <laughs> oh look, seagulls, pigeons, space ducks. I don't know what those are. You're embarrassing me. You have to leave now. All right, let's open these up. Rotate to the forward and unlocked position. Hey, that's not so bad. Oh, balls. All right, how does that? Hey, wow. I'm actually kind of impressed. That looks pretty good. There's a lot of rigging behind it with the ladders and stuff, but 
That's not so shabby right there. Time to make two more now. Three hours later. So I just got the sails up mostly. I'm gonna go open those. Unfurl, is that the real word? I don't remember what the real words are, but if I run my little toes up there, I should be able to do it. Also, there's probably some of you in the comments being like, Blitz, where are the uh, where are the cannons? <laughs> I wish I knew. Uh, should ask the raft devs where the cannons are, because I've been, like, my brain has been working overtime the last, like, hour and a half when I've been building this, trying to figure out how to do cannons. And I have one idea, and I want to throw it by you guys, but I don't know how I can get it to actually work in the game. Oh, you're kidding me. These stupid ladders, man. Why do they have to be so... Just get me up there! I just want to get up to there! Maybe I'll just build a new one and it'll work better. Or not. That's cool, too. Don't worry about me, game. Just uh, over here playing, trying to have fun, and you're just harshing my mellow. Gotta go ahead and build stupid ladders in places I don't want the stupid ladders to be. And that doesn't even work, either. <sighs> Deep breaths, Blitz. Deep breaths. Now I can climb. Why couldn't I climb before? We'll rotate that to the front so it looks nice and mellow. Then I'll delete this unsightly and unruly ladder system I made because it's ugly. Don't tell it that though, it'll get mad. And then there's the sails. Okay, that's pretty sick right there. I love that. Now these windows are for the cannons right here. There's only one item in the game that I can figure out what will kind of look like a cannon and I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So if I come down here, the thing I was thinking is using the pipes in the game. If I search for pipe, there's two different types. We have the fuel pipes and the water pipes. Fuel pipes seem good, so let's spawn in a hundred of them. Please work. Open up the inventory, slap these down here somewhere, and then the pipes. So the problem with these is you have that, and then you connect them, and <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a sad little pipey boy. But all seven of my brain cells were firing again, so I'm thinking I might be able to do something like this. And then we can put in this right here. Come on, come on, be nice to me. Like that. And then, uh, and then a another one. If we put in another one, and we put in, uh, there it is. Then we might be able to delete these, and that might stay. Let's just, let's just see. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> so we can't have a cannon sticking out of the wall, unfortunately. And these things are kind of just derpy looking in general. So we're gonna pretend like there's cannons in there, but we're not actually gonna have cannons. So the next step again is to take some of these and just throw them in the ocean because pollution is bad, right, friends? It's okay, wood is biodegradable, and so is plastic after a million years. So I'll give myself a uh, absolute buttload of black paint and probably a paintbrush. Then I'll set the paint color to black and the secondary color to black. Jump into no clip mode and have some fun. Oh my goodness, we don't want a pattern. <laughs> On second thought, maybe it's a bad idea to have a secondary color. We'll just turn that off. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Am I painting both sides too? I am, good, because the black pearl is black on the inside and outside. I just recognized something too. I accidentally painted one of these sails and hot dang do they look all right. I love that. Oh, I'm also dying of lack of food poisoning again. Oh, hot dang. Oh, that's starting to look fire right now. I totally forgot the steering wheel. How can you forget a steering wheel on a pirate ship? I mean, that's one of the most iconic things in the entire pirate ship, right? And unfortunately, it looks like this in the game, but that's fine, because we'll paint it black. Oh, wow, that's what happens. And then it sends us a pipe all the way through, so it helps us steer. Oh, and there's turtles again. Hey, little fella, how are you? So I did add a few stairways in here, but I'm thinking this bottom floor needs to be our work area. We have to add in the things like the water storage and that fun stuff. Also, kind of not wanting to put in the engines on the ship, but uh, I think I'm gonna do it anyway. I mean, the actual Black Pearl is kind of a cursed haunted ship anyway, so having engines is the last of its worries, right? Oh, um, well, the floor above doesn't like it, so we're gonna have to remove some of that. Ain't nobody got time for floor that don't wanna be here. I also need to know how many things I have, so let's grab a counter. Slap that on the ground, that'll be like boop -de boop magically having 164 
And I think these can carry up to a hundred. So I only need two engines for the ship. That's awesome. Uh oh, <laughs> I just ah, I accidentally fell through the engine. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. I'll be all right. So I go to all that work to delete the floor. And then it's like, hey, just kidding. You can just put it right back in and uh, put the floor over top of it again. Sometimes I don't understand this game and that's okay. Not all games need to be understood. Like I can't place that there, but I'm guessing I can place it. No, I can't. All right, let's try placing it there and there. And now the game's like, sure, you can put a floor on top. Don't mind me. Weird, just a weird, weird deal. And of course we have to paint these beautiful things because it's the black pearl, not the bluish weird colored pearl. And Sharky boy is gonna be hungry. So I have to refix this because he's a jerk and he likes to eat all my fun stuff. And then we'll use those fuel pipes that I wasted a little while ago to connect to some of the tanks. I could get two more in here. Hello, glorious biofuel tank. Boop and boop and boop and boop. Nice. We'll connect those to the biofuel refineries where we can slap load these full of honey and raw potatoes. But let's be honest, since I have mods on, we'll just spawn in 9,999 biofuel and then fill up the tanks. I probably need a few of the electric purifiers too for the water supply. And I did want to place down a few of these recyclers in here too, because I think this is kind of a cool thing in the game. I still want cannons through the edge though, because that'd be even better. I totally didn't know this, but the these things can get water out of the window. That's pretty cool. And I should be able to put a water tank next door. And once we give it a little bit of power, should start making water in there. Cool. Beautiful. So Captain Boatswain the second here painting the floor and his unicorn tri hat tri tricord. There's the word. He's like, yay, thumbs up. So I've been making a kind of dining room down here for our pirate friends. It's not too exciting. I mean, they're pirates. They're not supposed to have nice houses, but the captain does. Mr. Jack Sparrow has a very, very nice house that uh, Mr. Boatswain has figured out. Wow, I actually really like this place. You got your research desk, some tiki's, a couple stacked. I didn't know you could stack those. That's cool. Oh, look, his whole family's here too. What a beautiful place. He's outdone himself. There is one additional thing that I forgot to do that we must do. We have to have the figurehead on the front of this thing, right? And what better figurehead to have than the shark trophy? Okay. I don't know if that's gonna work, but can I paint it? Oh, you don't get painted. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we're gonna remove it. And I wanna know if I can do anything else with it. Can, I can keep it, like have it on the edge or something, right? Maybe not. Maybe it only goes on the, the top. Well, if that's the case, we'll just slap it up here and then jump into no clip mode to see what the black pearl looks like. We have the pirate flags on the top that Mr. Boatswain put in. Totally forgot about those two. Oh yes, what a fantastic looking ship. Yes, and the figurehead of the shark on the front. That is fantastic. Let's do a quick fly through of this area. We have the cruise quarters where everyone sleeps on the cots. We have the dining room in the back here with some bottles clanging from the edge. If we go downstairs, we have the good old like recycling and factory area with all of the fuel. And we can zip back up to here where I'm going to jump back into regular mode so I can lift up the anchors, start the engines, and start driving. Can you go forward? I think we're driving. You're backwards. Go forward. Shiver me timbers, there be some land. We can stake out the pirate booty and treasure there. We have to turn. Oh, this is fantastic. I think this might be one of my favorite builds in RAF that I've done so far. You guys left and let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, look at this thing. The Black Pearl has risen again in the world of raft. So thank you, my friends, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know, and wow, that'd be a good thumbnail. So keep your stick on the ice, and uh, make sure you do check out today's sponsor, which was U2's, and get yourself some adorable little Slime Ratcher plushies. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And I'd like to thank this month's channel members and Patreon supporters, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Destructo Man, General Harris, Trent M, Joe B, Codino, Zarna, Maxer, Rao, BC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sikarsmarex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Rob the King, Bread, 8830, Dalton C, Avora, Cicanity, Grayson, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Plays, Dredge Hoarder, Gun Jam, and Jonas DC.